Today we are going to be installing the Grim Speed 3 part boost control. Jeez. So that is it right there. Part number if you guys are looking for it. Very simple install. So continue from yesterday. Um, you can get this without taking your intercooler. So don't worry about that. So there is your vacuum hoses going into your turbo. So loosen those clamps and push it aside. One on the right side there, and then one on the left side here from the uh, wastegate actuator. So I did that. As you can see, the clamps have been moved from here to here. It's kind of hard to see, but that's okay. So once you do that, wiggle those hoses out, and it runs into here. So you're gonna be removing this. So I gotta take out my nice shiny dress-up bolt right here. So just remove that bolt and then there's one more bolt here and this shield will come off and we can work on the routing. Sorry for the focus, it's not focusing. All right, let's get to it. If you want a more detailed install on this, I have a full one about doing the uh, boost control solenoid on a WRX. The wiring is basically the same thing. So just watch that video if you guys want. So in this one, I'm just gonna cut through it, just like show you the, just a little piece and bits of it. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so we got the cover plate off, I guess. That's what you call it. Anyways, um, so it's just held on by this connector. Disconnect this connector. There's one bolt here I forgot to mention, 12 mil. So once you get that out, you pull this off from the T fitting, which is down by the turbo. Mine broke on this side, so I'm just gonna have to cut it off later. It's okay because we're getting new um, new hoses anyways. So we will disconnect this and take out this little uh, de-sizer. Um, so a union de-sizer, whatever you call that there. We're gonna take that out and then we're gonna use it on our new boost controller. I will show you that now. Okay guys, so there you have it. The EBCS is installed. So the routing for it is very simple. From the middle port, this is port number three. It goes back to your intake. So there's a decisor right there. And then the port on this my left side right now, port number two. That goes down to the wastegate actuator on the left side. And then port number one to the back of the engine goes to the turbo itself. And you can kind of see that right here. right there there's the hoses just going to it so yeah easy install we we'll bolt everything back together how it was and this mounts on the outside instead of the inside so you got to bolt it through the inside and that's basically it